Hey, what's up, guys? Jordan here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the simplest way you, you can play Minecraft T Launcher with your controller, and we're starting right now. <laughs> So guys, um, this is the controller that I'm using to play Minecraft. As you can see, it's a repaired PS4 controller. And I'm going to show you guys how I use it to play Minecraft. So guys, the program that I use is called Xpeter. And as you can see, it's a mini controller with a smiley face, which is kind of creepy. So uh, guys, uh, once you open, let me just close it real quick and show you what it looks like when you open it up. Um, do not save. I do not want that. So once you open it up, guys, it's gonna be something like this. You can download the latest version. I'm gonna leave a link for that because this is an old version. So yeah, you can press start. Okay, okay again. Then you'll select the language that you speak. Obviously, I speak English, so I'm gonna press start and press start again. And I suggest you save your location or whatever. The program location can be located uh, to your documents and make sure to associate files with Windows. So it's going to be something like this once you start opening it up and you're going to have to click here. So obviously as you can see this is blank, there's no controller, no nothing. I'm going to leave a link also for the controllers, control images I mean. So yeah I'm going to leave a link so you can just press open and load the controller that you want to load up. Or which con the controller that you want to use and after after loading it up it's gonna look something like this let me just load up my controller real quick real fast so yeah uh, I'm just gonna pick a uh, yeah Minecraft Minecraft controller and it's gonna be something like this as you can see I've already rearranged the buttons to my custom liking and the way the controller is set so yeah once you do all this by comment to sticks and enable all of them. It, just press detect if you don't know what to do. And just left up and then it will set it up. And you can do the same for the other side. And then come here to D-pad. So come here to D-pad. Yeah, you can just, it's this, whatever, the D-pad buttons. You can just set them as well. And the buttons, you're going to have to press every single button that is on the controller. Even R L3 and R3. As you can see, and every button is on a controller and set it, rearrange it to the way the controller is set. Even if you don't have to use an image, you can just use it the way you found it. The purple, pink, whatever the color it's called, I really don't care. And the triggers, you don't have to do that because you already enabled them. As you can see here, there are the triggers. So yeah, uh, after that, it's going to come here. Firstly, what you want to do is come to these two these two buttons and come here to settings make sure that it's WASD and I don't know just press space if you want to jump by pressing L3 and of course the other side come here to settings again and make sure that the mouse is set to normal so that when you move the I don't know the L3 controller or whatever it is called I forgot their names that cursor will move as well so and uh, you can just set it to your custom liking guys you don't have to set it up the way I did let me show you how I set it up uh, real fast uh, Minecraft PC Minecraft do not save so guys as you can see I set it up like this so you don't have to set it up like me you can set it up to your custom liking so uh guys uh make sure to leave a like on this video make sure to subscribe to the channel and if this controller works for you then make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll make sure that to respond to most of your comments so uh i'll see you guys in the next video i guess